Okay, second coat of paint is on. I made a little box section to cover the instruments, which is uh, not perfect, but it will do. Um, till time to decide whether I paint this wall or not. But we'll see. And then the floor is looking a lot cleaner. And in there is looking a lot cleaner. I'm going to paint this white next job and then uh, start reassembling I think well had a massive um, well rainstorm last night a bit of wind uh, battery's depleted so I'm running the engine but I think I'm going to have to take the battery in and get it charged properly uh, priority though has got to be this this is the toilet pump got a service kit for it so I need to get that working um, find quite a few leaks but they're all fairly simple fixes so um, as soon as this lot disappears we'll give it a go um, I don't want to do it while there's still all the rain around because uh, some of it is glass work um, and I need to go get some sick flex anyway but we've had a rough night haven't we Luce eh? not really because of the bad the bad winds but more because it was really stuffy with um, everything closed and no battery so anyway we'll get there won't we sweetheart so in the torrential rain last night we had a number of leaks these badly repaired chain plates are one of them you can see where the chain plate has been moved further back as part of the racing rig so uh, I have already laid two layers of fiberglass on there with the polyester resin just waiting for that to cure uh, that should be enough to actually seal the leak uh, then we tomorrow we can give that a quick sand and stick some gel coat on it and uh, get the repair a little bit more permanent um, it'll obviously be discoloured um, but once we get around to painting all of the anti-slip on here and what have you, we'll be able to deal with that. So, the other one is on the other side, in the same place. And it's exactly the same thing. So again, what I've done is I've just you know, done the polyester resin, and the epoxy, and uh, so the uh, fiberglass, and uh, that's now ready. So let that go off. Next thing is the these side windows. This one is not too bad, but go around the other side. This one is definitely leaking, um, and uh, you can see where the sycophlex uh, is sort of getting a bit old and peely and what have you. Anyway, now uh, the correct way of doing this will be to actually loosen the glass completely then re-bed it, but we don't have time for that. So I think what we're going to do is just get a razor blade, just get rid of the old Sikaflex first, and then uh, run a dab of uh, Sikaflex around, just a bead around, just to uh, seal the edge for now. And then when we get a weather window and everything looks okay, then uh, do the uh, screws, take the screws off and do it properly and work from there. But I'm just looking to try and reduce the amount of moisture inside the boat for tonight. Of course the underside of this also needs doing, it's here, um, but I've got to get all this old adhesive off first so I'm going to do that and then we'll put a little square of fiberglass on here just to seal the underside as well. Uh, but this is my wire brush. This is the state of it for getting the uh, old adhesive off. So I'm hoping this watch should last. Otherwise, I've got to get another one. So we shall see. Okay, time to deal with this. The uh, the belt has snapped now. So uh, this is free. This is free. This is seized, which is not good. Uh, I think I can move it freely it gets to a certain point and then it, it just seizes up so 
It's obviously not happy, is it? Doesn't matter, it's seized. So I've got to spare one of these. I've got to spare one of these. So let's get cracking with a spanner and uh, take all this lot off. See where we go from there. Okay, so I've got them both off. This is the water pump that's definitely seized. And this is the raw water pump, which is also a bit sad. Um, so I've got a spare raw water pump and I've got a spare water pump. This is the water pump. But if you can see here, this is a bit corroded. So there's an O-ring that sits in here, which I need to get anyway. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to order a new water pump and a new raw water pump um, so that I've got the old ones as spares um, so this one will be a spare this is this is turning okay so um, and you can get rebuild kits for these anyway but uh, yeah so I'm going to go and price those up now um, I'll get this fitted and the replacement of this fitted so that at least I've got an engine if there's bad weather while these spare parts arrive and then I'll do a swap over and uh, we'll take it from there but uh, yeah this is yeah best if we swap it all I think and then at least I know it's all good then it's not part of a rebuild on an engine it's not part of the rebuild kit so these parts do go um, more often um, so it's just fortunate it's happened while we're at anchor and all I've done was just start the engine to charge the batteries so I'm um, feeling happier about that yeah okay so here is the other uh, raw water pump I've got so I'm gonna basically clean that up and make that good uh, it's turning freely because there's no impeller in there so I've got to swap the impellers across and before anybody comments I've actually ordered a new impeller kit that will arrive tomorrow but I just want to get the engine up and running so that if anything happens at least I can start it and get out of trouble so I'm putting everything on the engine and getting it back together into a running condition and then when all the fresh parts arrive I'll start working on it. So I've ordered the rebuild kits for this and for this and I'll rebuild these two um, and then keep them and then these two will get fitted and uh, hopefully that will mean that we can run and I've ordered two impellers so basically this in, the impeller that's going in here today will be thrown away once I've finished so that's the that's the general idea so I'm going to swap the impellers across now and then I can fit this pump and then we can start work so we've got a bit of a problem one of the blades has gone on this impeller and that means that it must have gone up through the pump so we're going to have to chase that down see if we can find it because we can't leave it in the system so that's the next thing I'll start fitting things and uh, start working through the pipes. So while I'm waiting for the impeller, the sink in this bathroom has been bugging me with this yellowing plastic. So I've taken it out. It was only held in with a little bit of Sikaflex at one end. So I'm going to clean all that off. I'm going to clean all this off and then I've got some paint. It's acrylic paint. I don't know whether that's any good or not, but we'll see. So I'm going to basically prep this and uh, paint it, make it look all pretty. How about that? Well, it's coming, but I've made a mistake with this. This is taking forever. Plus I've got overspray. I use an acrylic paint and uh, I don't know where you can see, but for some places it's not actually sticking very well. I've tried sanding it back and putting primer on there it's made no difference so i'm just gonna have to let it dry and then 
where I've got the little blemishes, just give it another quick sand and uh, another spray, and then hopefully it'll come right. Um, but I think once it's done, it'll look all right. Toilet's in and working. I'm going to paint the seat gloss white. That's my final job for in here. And then uh, we should be pretty much there. The sink, I've painted gloss white. That's just waiting for this to dry before I fit it. So, yeah. And I've also, I'm going to paint the, um, the accessories gloss white as well. I've got the primer on there. They need the undercoat. I don't need the gloss, so we'll see. Well, I've just dropped the stink in, it's just got primer on it, so it's not finished. But that actually works because it covers up the blemishes in the uh, top, so I think that looks quite nice. Don't know what everyone else thinks, but I quite like it. Okay, so I've impellers changed. There's a new raw water pump on, new circulation pump on. I've got the kits, so the rebuild kits, so I can start on that. But now I've got to trace that impeller blade that I dropped off the impeller. So I've got to go and take the heat exchanger off, which is down here. So, uh, yeah, down there. So I'm going to take the end off and see if I can pull the core and see if I can get it that way. If I can't, I'm going to have to then take the heat exchanger off, which is going to be a, a case, which is going to be a little bit, little bit more difficult, but not impossible. Okay, so the heat exchanger is currently soaking in this descaling stuff. Uh, give it another 15 minutes in there. And then I've got to uh, basically pump that back into there so that I'm um, not uh, spilling any. So that's the general idea of this. But I've got it now to a point where it's actually submersed, so that's good. So I'll give it another 10, 15 minutes just to get rid of all the scale and then uh, yeah, decant this into there. And once I've done that, bucket of seawater, and then that goes in there, soak it, just uh, get rid of all the excess. So, yeah. Okay, so that looks pretty clean. Now, I've got some decanter and stuff back into there. So, uh, right. Okay, so we're going to refurbish this next job. Uh, I've got a towel to put down here, save the woodwork, and uh, I'm going to sacrifice the towel. It's only a cheap thing from marketing, so it's not that big a deal. And uh, I just want to make sure that I'm not going to be. Uh, damaging the woodwork basically so that's that uh, I need to strip all this down and then this is the rebuild kit so there are a couple of seals the Yanma ones apparently fit but they're less than a tenth of the price so we'll, we'll see and then in here what we've got is in this little plastic bag we've got this little lot so there's the bearings they look quite nice a little seal uh, and bits and pieces like that and then in here this is the replacement shaft so yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to start with that.
we're in the regatta <laughs> so we're sailing in the regatta um, and we're not doing too bad considering we're towing our dinghy which is not really done the done thing so and uh, there's all these other boats here and my crew and uh, yeah so considering where we were like 10 weeks ago I think this is pretty damn spiffy do I say so myself yeah it's all good so we've got to go around an island and then back into Civita so I'm trying to work out where everybody's going at the moment because they're all over the place so yeah but it's all good it's all good